This video is about the upper control uh, valve that's in the uh, bucket, in a bucket truck. And um, I'm just showing you here in this uh, sketch the uh, bracket that holds it up. It's just one bolt in there. And then you can lower the control valve. Okay. Um, it, it's uh, quite heavy. So, um, here I am, um, I lowered it down and then I rested on top of the uh, step ladder there. Now you can lower the whole bucket to the ground, I'm sure, and uh, do the work from down there, but I didn't want to be bothered. Um, I, so here it is, uh, I'm untying it from a rope. Uh, it helps to use a rope to just lower it down slowly so you don't break any of the fragile uh, hydraulic lines. Those are just uh, compression fittings. So it's taking the pressure off by just resting on top of the uh, ladder. Okay. Now here you can see the uh, valve uh, resting and uh, each one of those lines, uh, Turex was uh, nice enough to put uh, zip ties, colored zip ties, so you can't miss uh, reinstalling them in the right place. Uh, what, uh, and there's always one that's not going to have a zip tie, okay? And that, even the big uh, hoses you see there. Okay, this image is just uh, either I'm putting it back in or, or taking it out. I don't recall uh, what this uh, video was uh, for. It's either coming down or going back up, okay, and um, there's the bracket that holds it up, there's a socket bolt, there, there's the zip ties on it, there's one on the fitting and one on the hose, so you can't mess them up, they're blues, orange, grays, browns, okay, uh, or pink, and uh, so you you can't mess them up. Those are compression fittings on the smaller hoses. Uh, so be careful with that. You don't want to over tighten. There's the air hose. You can see the little tiny air hose and there's the hole that came out of uh, the, the valve came through. Okay. And that's uh, it hanging down. Um, yeah, there again, you could see the little air hose. You go see where it goes through the boot at the bottom, okay. This is uh, just me going up and uh, checking it out. And uh, when I first lowered it, and I forgot to bring my wrenches, so I got my wrenches here, and you just systematically just take one off after the other they're not on there that tight they're snug but they're they're not really tight so uh, and yeah before you start all this don't forget to shut off the hydraulics uh, to the system need to do that um, so I just take one after uh, one after another uh, off of there. It, it's that simple. And once you you do that, you have the whole valve. Uh, you could just set it on the back deck there, and we go on to the uh, next phase. Okay, these next scenes you're going to see those linkages that I show in the uh, drawing here. Uh, here's a close-up of them. As you can see, they're crammed in there pretty uh, tight. So you have to nitpick those little uh, cotter pins off. And probably want, you'll want to reuse them. I don't know if you want to spend for a pack of those and get 50 or 100. I doubt you'll use them again, uh, the rest of them. So take your time uh, removing them. And you'll get now. These next images are uh, the uh, the top part removed, and it's in my kitchen sink. 
and I couldn't rotate the boom on this thing, and it's because the handle was frozen. Uh, notice the rust on the uh, where the handle is. That uh, after adding some oil, I was able to force it back and forth, and uh, eventually it loosened up to where I can move it from side to side, and uh, eventually uh, it was nice and smooth. Okay, um, not in this picture here, but uh, you see that little pin on the, the shaft? There's a, a pin in the center. That needs to come out uh, if you're going to uh, replace the seal and pull it, uh, uh, pull it out, pull the whole handle out and the uh, piston out of its uh, little socket there. These are just, see, the handles to the right away from me. I was able to twist it, and um, yeah, after adding the oil, and then there's probably another one showing it towards me. Uh, yeah, there's a little pinhole. Uh, you, it's a split pin. You just knock it out, eighth inch a split pin, and the handle. Uh, you'll be able to pull it out and replace the uh, rubber. This is a typical seal. It's the same kind of seal they use on a crankshaft on a car in the front, uh, the front uh, seal. Okay. Uh, Turex will try to sell you the whole kit, you know, like $30. But if you just get a seal on your own, you get the right dimensions. They're all the same. Okay, here I'm, uh, I have the top part of the uh, control valve. And um, I'm squeezing the handle to see if I'm getting any air pressure uh, to come out of that uh, piston. And I'm not. Surprisingly, I found out if you flip it over, once you flip it over, it you get air pressure. So there must be a check valve in there, and that's what I'm showing you here. Um, yeah, in, the, in this form like that, it, air comes out. You'll feel, feel some air pressure. It's not much. I don't know how it triggers that valve, but um, anyway, those are all the uh, the levers that uh, control uh, that either open or close the uh, the valves. These are the cotter pins. You you just uh, re-straighten them out and and uh, reuse them to uh, reconnect them to the uh, the six valves that it has in the body. Uh, versus buying a whole pack of them. You usually get like 50 or 100 in a pack. So, uh, and in the boot, you, you want to locate the small hole that the airline uh, is threaded through as you assemble it. So um, most of that is just to keep the moisture out. But I guess it didn't do a good job because the, the handle was all frozen in place. You know. Uh, tried to uh, cut a tree in my uh, backyard here, and the uh, guy couldn't turn the handle. I had to control it from the uh, platform, turn it for him. So that, that's what it takes there. Right now, I'm just reassembling it. Um, one at a time. Um, I shut off the 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 voice to the original uh, video because it it wasn't loud enough uh, for you to hear. But I think I I told you enough of, of what you need to do. Basically, once you open it up, you can easily replace the uh, the seal and uh, oil up, uh, get some oil in there so the handle doesn't seize uh, again the rotating part of it because it's in a uh, a tube sleeve. Okay, um, and there I'm mentioning. Uh, make sure you get it in the right orientation when you when you put it, reassemble it so it, the handle is not in uh, connected all uh, backwards. 
you know. So that's it uh, for this part. The other part is about uh, testing. This is a quick sketch of what it uh, the air uh, tubing uh, looks like. It goes to that push button on the deck, and here is that little uh, that switch that's in there. It's an air troll switch. It's just nothing but a snap switch when you take it apart. And this is how you would uh, test it, okay, with the screwdriver there. But you still have to blow air into it to get it to work. This is the the switch itself, and it has little tubing. So you have to blow in there when you're testing. Otherwise, you can turn that screw all you want. It's not going to activate. Okay. So by putting my meter on it and then um, I'm squeezing the handle, I can see if the, uh, the, the meter shows uh, continuity. And it did. But uh, will it show continuity at the push button? That means the air has to go all the way through that whole boom uh, 55 feet. And um, uh, what you can do on the switch is basically I turned it all the way out so that it's flush with the top almost if, uh, and maybe more. And I was able to get contact, you know, but... Uh, anything screwed in of that uh, adjustment screw that comes with the air troll valve uh, switch uh, didn't seem to work. Uh, I, I, I surmise it's because there's very, very little air pressure coming through that piston. It's, it's not as uh, any amount that could cause the uh, switch to trigger. So that's basically it. I just tied a rope to it. Uh, and hauled it back in and, and inserted my bolt and everything was like new again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. Visit us at uh, LarryandJane.com Oh, uh, don't forget to open up the shutoff valve. And uh, you're going to have to bleed all the valves. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, go to this link that I show. Uh, here.